uh, touched on the fact that Ross Lyon has a real defensive bent to his game. They've got to say they've started the game really well. Seven minutes in and still no inside 50 of their own doing by the Hawks. That's a long kick out by Gunston and the mark taken by Stratton. They're away quickly to Rioli. Now Isaac Smith and it gets back to Rioli. That was clever work. Buddy Franklin gave it back. It was Shields that started off. Now Rioli keeps going. He gets to within 50, 35 and closing. And there's the opening goal of the afternoon. Set play from the Hawks coming through from a kick in and it's a huge ground here at uh, Launceston Surioli from the Fremantle. Gibson gets himself out of trouble and to Osmond. Terrific to see him playing football again to Burgoyne. Now to Smith who's normally pretty good. That time off some hands, still in dangerous territory for the Dockers. Quickly Pew up low. Now to Smith, now to Hill. Back to Rioli. Has one. Can he make it to Rioli? Yes he can. We mentioned Spur and the, the challenge of that matchup. Seven point lead. They've had their opportunities, Frio. Osborne goes with a long kick. Gunston's there in front. Was knocked away by Duffield. Burgoyne Ray with that pack brilliantly. He snaps back to Bruce. Is that the required distance? Umpire says no problem. Well, this is the challenge. Start by Luke Bruce, and he's had a terrific start to the season. Nine goals, four already this year, kicking at his first for this afternoon. If he kicks this, it's three zip Hawthorne's favour. The zip is in play. He's become elite now, Luke Bruce. Is a pies, that big Michael. win at the MCG looked like he'd played at that level for a long time. Outcome, so a bit lucky on, there, Hawthorne. Yeah, I think so. 15 yep. seconds. So Burgoyne, a lot was given up by the Hawks to acquire Burgoyne, and he has been. A real deliverer of wonderful football since he arrived. The fourth for the Hawks on a Saturday afternoon. We're right on it, Tom. We're keeping everyone honest, although uh, little as it turns Gibson out. to deal with. Gets away from De Boer. His handles back to Shields, and suddenly the Hawks are away from halfback again. Quickly to the wing. Hale is there. Tanner Smith is out, muscled by the big guy, and then to Lewis, who goes over the top to the running Bruce. Already has one this afternoon. Steps inside Johnson. And now a long ball. Ruffhead got a couple of dockers to beat. Got pushed out. Howlett settled. He can go with the Nana here. Ruffy kicks a goal. All Hawks in the first term. Well, that was three on one. That ended up being there with Fremantle's its clearances. Just watch here. The intent here from Spur was great. Ruffhead strong enough to keep his feet. And they did it well, the ups. Here's Mitchell. Hodge taken high. Right there, thanks. That's it, Hayden. Don't block the mark, George. So it's coming back again. Tough afternoon for Fremantle. Just the one goal on. so far in this match, and it's the start of this second term. Out wide for Birchall, the Tasmanian. Back in Tasmania. Oh, they love this. The Tasmanians cheer. He's been pretty good today, Birchall. Uh, he's just getting on the end, runs all day, a strong left footer. He's a lot bigger than you think, Grant Bertrand. You stand next to him, he's six foot four in the old, runs all day. Pretty well he's... done in the end by Sutcliffe. He fired a handball out towards DeBoer, tackled from behind, spills Rioli's way. Here's Osborne, and we've got a whistle, advantage play. Oh, man, 50 metre penalty. Well, Didn't allow him to run to the next climax in the end Rioli. because he asked on Rioli and... But we just need to keep his hands to himself there. Hung on just a little bit too long. So kicking for his third. Three behinds last week. Three goals this week. Shortest 50 in the history of 50s, isn't it? Well, it's about 15 out. Penetrating ball down the wing. And the Hawks off hands. Bruce and then to Shields. And then Buddy and Ruffy. You've got a couple of white jumpers to beat. Taylor Smith just watches on. Tanner Smith make that. Taylor Dreyer the... Debutant from last week, kicking it forward. Bailey just works through traffic. Rough head, little one to Lewis, and Lewis, he should finish, and he does. So we're back to where we started this second term. Well, good lead up here. Quick ball into the forward line, and uh, a slick handball out by Rough head, but Lewis, he can finish it. Obviously, he's known for his grunt work. He's missed. 
Bailey, Buddy just trying to cruise through. Rioli got it and gave it to Buddy, and he's not without a chance. A long ball, a brilliant ball. Welcome, Buddy. Welcome back to Tasmania. This wasn't that good. You saw the chemistry between Cyril and Buddy. It's often the other way around where Cyril's streaming through in the middle of the ground and hitting Buddy lace out. Well, gave off one earlier in the game uh, with the result not not as required, but uh, a terrific finish there. And you mentioned Zungu, and then out of the air it was Hill, not 15. Lewis, he hasn't heard it. Now he has. A little give back to Savage. He pulls the kick, works out well. And Ruffy, 40 out directly in front in the shadows of half time. You know, I've got to say, they look potent when both Franklin and Ruffhead line up in the key post in the forward line. Remember in that 2008 year, Buddy kicked 113, Ruffy kicked 75, and he kicks another this afternoon. Ruffy's got a couple. Hawks punch it back out to 30 points. We talked about his Achilles. You can't think of too many players that have come back so seamless. So Bailey to Mitchell, ran to the left, even though he's a righty, and this is a natural left. Taylor Jure just long ball. Hale, Bruce front spot, couldn't quite get hold of it. Just spilt to Hale, quickly to Burgoyne. Good finisher normally. What can he do here? Behind the goals is a bit of movement. Pom-poms go up. Little shuffle from the umpire. All clear. Makes so few mistakes, Sean Burgoyne. Great finish here from Burgoyne, but it's been his work for the midfield today. Mitchell, Hodge haven't had their perhaps their usual output. Uh, Burgoyne up to Valentine. Valentine hasn't been able to expose being matched up against the tall all game, but he's certainly looking up and about. So Dre to Lewis, and they're streaming inside the attacking zone, the Hawks now. The lead from Burgoyne is on. He's chosen. He's got a couple already, Burgoyne. Long way out, short ball. Franklin, well, over the top of Hill. A look at the size difference between those two. Well, Hill had done all the hard buddy and realised that the, <laughs> the big man gets priority in those situations. So the big man has won. Just 12 off his last effort here at Launceston against the Kangaroos. 13 goals, four on that occasion. The arc, the kick, it's all so familiar. And Buddy's got a couple. Sandaland still probably about six weeks away, so they're going to have to try and stem the tide in that time. Maybe fight a draw, three and three in their win-loss record. Good kick by Stratton across to Smith and Gunston, jumping high, marks in front of Johnson. He's a really good pickup, I think. Sean Gold holds the ball a bit unconventionally, but uh, more often than not, very effective. Slow start to the season for Gunston. Not picked early. 39 goals last year. He's kicked just the behind coming into this weekend's footy. Now he's kicked a goal. Well, he was a late out, wasn't he, against the Eagles when he was out. Ben Stratton was stiff. The throwback bounced, but it bounced perfectly to Bradley. Must be on the full. So, Mitchell quickly on the left to Buddy. It's right where he wants to be. Directly in front. He'll arc out. And if you look at the draw, you say you've got Fremantle, they've been in good form, and you come down and have, let's just assume, potentially a four or five goal when you take that. So Buddy, two straight, becomes three straight. So back to that 29, 30, 30 point buffer, which has been the number. Both Mundy and Barlow, they've been the big guns for the Dockers. Ball's coming back though for Hawthorne. Burgoyne, clever little tap across from Lewis and Hale going back with the flight of the ball. That's a good mark, not easy. He plays on quickly, Buddy in the square. What about that for Tanner Smith, the first gamer? Gee, I'm not sure if that's where you want to be. Absolutely. But I think... A young player coming in. No better to learn off than Buddy Franklin. That's probably the last thing he's thinking of at the moment. He's thinking, because I wish I wasn't marked up against him. But he will look back on contests like that. You do learn a lot as a young defender. Franklin for his fourth goal to give Hawthorne just a little bit of breathing space. It's back to 23 points. Well, Hale was the one who he was the one who set that up. A terrific mark running back. We spoke to spot him. on now. He looks upfield. Nobody really free, so just held up a little. Buddy the target. You'd think Dawson's with him. Leading now is Roughhead, and Roughhead got away from Tanner Smith. A little bit of blocking, clever blocking by the Hawthorne forwards. And as a Kicked three goals last week, 6-4 so far What's your mark? in 2013. That was coming into today's game and kicking for his third right here 
to make it very difficult for the Fremantle Dockers. We spoke earlier, Tom, how you like seeing these guys work. Here's long kick. Bailey favoured by it. He didn't mark. Hodge off the ground. Inside 50. Bruce, is that a push in the back? Sure is. Certainly been a trend this year. Rewarding the player driving at the footy. What about... Bruce with 20 disposals this afternoon. This will be 21. He's kicked a goal to make it a six-goal margin with less than 30 seconds to play. They love playing down here, the Hawks. And the Tasmanians, their adopted team, they cheer. Actually have a real shot at it. So the game high was 44. It's back to 36. And with seconds on the clock, maybe another for Ruffy. Yeah, something coming up for Jared Ruffhead. He's got three goals, too. And he'll kick it from point blank after the siren. No, clock stopped with the whistle. Bluffed into it there, I reckon. Hey, but Ruffy looking to play on there. Coming up for his fourth goal. So the Hawks by 42. And I think there is one second left on the clock. It ticked down to zero, but there's no siren. 42 so points. Wait for it. Not even the touch. The Hawks dominant today. They did what they needed to do. Hawthorne win it by 42 points. 18-10 to 11-10. It makes it 11 of the last 12 against the Hawks. Grant Birchall just to star today. We've heard so much about his numbers. 37 disposals. He's with Andrew Welsh.